Hi guys, today I'd like to show you my saddle bags that I have on my DR350. They're very inexpensive saddle bags and they work really well. They just needed a little modifications. So I got them on Amazon and I'll put a link to them down below. So here's the label from them. They're actually made by Stan Sport. There's the picture of them on the front. And well, let, let's have a look at them. Here they are. They are um, canvas. Army green canvas. Um, they do come in black, I believe, also. Um, so I have installed, so they came with D rings here. And reading the reviews, um, people didn't like the D rings, they were hard to open. And so I have, in, and I agreed with them. And so I have installed these snap clips on them, which makes it really nice to open. It's just really quick to open. Second modification I did was I got some window blind slats and I cut them down to fit in here. And that holds the bag out. It holds it open so it just doesn't flatten down. Okay, these have a string to cinch down the sides. I also installed these little pinch clips, I don't know what you call them, so that I can tighten those down without having to tie the strings. I've used these bags quite a bit and they work really nice. For attachment in the bottom it has D-rings down here also. I made some straps with the same type of clips on them that hold it. I, I strapped them onto my rear peg bracket. So I've got those so they easily just unclip for quick removal. On the other side in the front I have the, the same thing, a strap that quickly undoes. On the back I have a strap that goes up around my turn signal. don't know if you can see that on there. It goes up around my turn signal and down around my tool canister. Same kind of snaps. It quickly undoes. Those also can't fall off because you'd have to unstrap it so you can't lose them. On this side in the back I just the D-ring goes over this little clip and I'll get to that in a minute. So to take it off you just undo the three straps, undo that rear clip and it comes right off. So that's really nice. So for protection on my exhaust I have made this plate, an extender of my side plate. It removes with one bolt. You just loosen this bolt and it slides off just like that. It has a clip here that clips over my turn signal and it has this bracket that the D-ring on the bag hooks onto. It's a very simple little thing. It works great. Uh, the bags do not get hot. So I actually made this. Well first to make this I just used a piece of cardboard and uh, made a template and then I marked it out on a piece of sheet metal. The sheet metal is actually from an old computer, a desktop computer case that I no longer used and I needed some sheet metal so 
I just bent it all up like that. It works really good. Got it all bent and shaped to match the front and painted it white. So I'll just put this back on. Get it up over the turn signal. There, you just slide it on like that and tighten this bolt back down. Simple as that. Works really well. So on the saddlebags themselves, I have this center part was longer. I didn't like it hanging down that far, so I just folded it up and sewed it across and shortened it. It was works pretty well. Underneath here I've got a little fanny pack or waist pack um, that I've always had on here. I keep a spare pair of gloves and a baklava in here and you can put a few assorted things in there but it gives it the extra spacing I need on my rack um, so that it kind of extends the seat out. So to put it on, first you do the D-ring. Slip that through that bracket, snap them together. Same thing on the other side. So. goes on that easy. Stays in place pretty good. Okay. I also carry extra clips. So this clip just goes on the strap. This is the clip that I made so on here you can see a little bolt. Okay, to make this, it used to have a little plastic bar that went across there. I cut that out and drilled two holes and just put the bolt through. On those ones I actually put a little piece of fuel line across in the middle to cover up the thread so it wouldn't, it wouldn't damage that. On the nut, I just put a little Loctite on it so it wouldn't fall off. And they've stayed on ever since. They work good. Okay, so that's it. These bags cost me $14.91. You are not going to find saddle bags cheaper than that anywhere. Um, these clips and everything I had just laying around from an old boat cover that rotted away years ago. They didn't cost me anything. The inside, the inside slats, same thing. They were extras that I had from some blinds I put up on my sliding glass door. Um, the straps are the straps that came with these from a boat cover. Um, the bolts I just had laying around. Uh, that's it. They didn't cost me a penny more. $14.91. So, uh, you know, saddlebags can cost hundreds of dollars. Um, yeah, they're not hard cases. Um, they're you know but they're they're just simple and they do their job and they hold quite a bit I can still I still put a bag up on top here my rack is still halfway showing so it also has these grommeted holes up here so if I want to put a bag on top I have some 
some ropes that I can put through those holes to help tie this down and tie the back onto the rack. So it's worked really well. So in here right now I have a little stove that I carry if I want to cook something. I have a little actually a charcoal stove and grill that I've used in my other videos. Um, I can carry water, camera equipment. Um, you know, the, the amount of things you can carry in them is endless. So it's just great. I love them. So that's it, guys. If you have any questions on these, leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.